Insufficient experience in the product or service, please notice the nine things we've talked about so far tonight. Three have got to do with marketing, five have got to do with uh, administration. So the only one we've talked about so far tonight has anything to do with producing a product or service. Guess what? It'll be the only one that we talk about tonight that has to do anything to do with producing a product or service. And let me just say one thing uh, concerning this gentleman's point. He says, you're awfully, you're doing this with, and he's absolutely right. He says, you're doing this with an awfully broad brush. You know, there are a lot of exceptions. There's a lot of things to take into consideration. Is he wrong? Absolutely not. I'm trying to just give you as much as possible tonight. And uh, in our classes, you know, we get into all those exceptions and those details. But he's absolutely right. You've got to know not only the rules, but the exceptions to the rules. Uh, is there, yes, ma'am. Um, an S corporation is a corporation that does not pay any federal income tax. If you have a C corporation, and most large corporations are C corporations by definition because they have over 100 shareholders, but most corporations are C corporations. One of the incentives that the government gives you to encourage you to start or expand your business is the C corporation. It's only available to people who have less than 100 shareholders which most people are. This guy in the back there's got three. So less than 100 shareholders. And what that means is that you only pay income tax on your earnings once. Now if you own shares of stock in Ford Motor Company, and let's assume that Ford made a profit last year, which is probably an invalid assumption, but uh, they pay income tax on that once. And then when you receive the dividend checks, you have to pay income tax on that a second time. It's called double taxation. So that's the primary difference. If you're an LLC, an S corporation, or a C corporation, you have the same protection. They cannot go after your personal assets. But an S corporation, you instead of double taxation, you like to pay tax on it once. I got a question. Hit me. Okay, what about an ink? A what? An ink corporation? What, are you selling printing or something up there? It's, okay, we're on. I knew that joke could go over big. I'm telling you, I knew that was big. That was a big one. In printing, see ink and printing. That's no wonder I don't teach at Harvard. We're we're saying the same thing. Ink is the same as incorporation. So if you have a business ABC Inc., that means they're incorporated. Now whether they're an S or a C, you don't know. Um, but uh, that's that means that they're that they have that limited liability. Insufficient planning and investigation. Uh, this is one you don't have to write down because nobody here has this as a problem. And the reason that you don't have this as a problem is you're willing to spend two hours of your busy schedule on a Tuesday night coming down here, sitting here at 120 degrees. We could brew beer in this room. And, uh, you know, and, you know there's, I'm sure there's a lot more things you could be doing better with your time tonight than being here. And I have to applaud you seriously for being here tonight. The people who need our class the most are the ones who are not here tonight. They're at home right now trying to conserve their energy so when the biggest loser comes on on Channel 4 tonight, we can see how much weight that these, these people have lost on television. But uh, you don't have to write this one down because this will never be a problem for you because you're willing to do your investigation. Now, if I was able to provide you the answer to these things right here, do you think it would improve your probability of success? If I took those solutions, wrapped them up in a red ribbon, and gave them to you, do you think it would improve your probability of success? Sure, and I'll prove it to you. There's a group of people out there that will sell you the answers to these things right here. And the good news is, if you buy these answers, your failure rate is significantly less than people who don't buy those answers. Because the failure rate of these group of people out there is one-sixth that of the people who don't buy these answers. And these are not stupid people that buy these things. I mean, and what, I'm what am I talking about? And just out of curiosity, I mean, who sells you these answers to these things? It's called franchises. And why franchises are so successful is because they've got a system to overcome these things right here. And it ain't the product. Some people think that the pro franchise is so successful because they got a unique product or service. It's the system that they put together to overcome those things right there. And the average failure rate of the average small business in the United States today is 25%. But if you buy the answer to these problems right here, your failure rate is only 4%. One-sixth the failure rate. 
Now that's the good news. The bad news about franchise, they will charge you from $1,000 to $300,000 for those answers. And if that doesn't make you sick, they also charge you 5% off your sales. 5% right off the top, whether you make a profit or not, and they'll charge you that 5% forever. Franchises, and it ain't the product. These most profitable small businesses of all times made more millionaires out of people like yourself than any single business in the history of the United States is? You can guess, it's okay to guess it here. No, not Amway, but that's a good guess. That would be a good guess, yeah. McDonald's. And the reason that they're so successful is because of the system that Ray Kroc put together over 40 years ago, and it ain't the product. You don't believe me? How many people here tonight think that McDonald's is the best hamburger they ever tasted in their life? <laughs> and you think that's something. How about those chicken McNuggets, huh? Sometimes I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning wondering what part of the chicken... <laughs> is the McNugget. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. But the reason that they're successful is to overcome these things right here. How many people are in business right now in here? Okay, and how many people wish they would have the answer to those things right there before they started? Probably most of you.